A young man's perseverance brings a room full of people up to their feet. We first showed you this video of a local high school graduate accepting his diploma last night at 11. He was left paralyzed after a crash and made it his goal to walk across the stage. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon explains how the one-time promising athlete is inspiring others. Colton Smith says he did not notice that standing ovation instead focusing on the path in front of him. I just smiled. I couldn't do anything but smile, and I just started walking. Video shows Smith walking across the stage, graduating from Durant High School. A car crash last summer, leaving him paralyzed. The next thing I know, it was on my back, looking at the sky. Smith tells me he lost control of his truck after not fully paying attention to the road. He hit a fence, flipped his truck. He was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected, landing on the grass. At 18 years old, he is paralyzed from the waist down. I thank God every day for letting me stay on this earth. Smith says he is grateful to his family, friends, and strangers who support him. He played football at Durant High. His coach, Wesley Wyatt, the man right behind him as he gets his diploma. He taught me how to um, really push myself and not give up. Smith says he is sharing his story, wanting to inspire others. If someone sees me, I'm 18 years old in this position and how I'm not letting it pull me down. Before the crash, Smith played football and wanted to join the military. Now his plans changed, but he says he does not live in the past or live with regret. His eyes set on his future. That was Julie Salomon reporting. Colton there, very lucky to be alive, but his crash is a reminder that we are entering the 100 deadliest days of summer.